Today we'll be learning about types of catalysts. A, a catalyst is a substance that changes the, the speed of the chemical reaction. The catalyst lowers the activation energy, it stabilizes the transition state, and it speeds up reactions. It also creates new intermediates, which are made and then broken down. It also creates new mechanisms. Let's take a look at an elephant paste. Elephant paste is usually a one-step reaction, and that's the equation. And adding a catalyst, it makes a one-step reaction into a two-step reaction. Because it creates new intermediates, which makes the one-step into a two-step reaction. Let's take a look at the energy graph for elephant paste. Here you can see elephant paste without a catalyst is just a one-step reaction, which would be this dark black line. And you can see that it's just one little curve, which indicates that it's just a one-step. But in adding a catalyst to elephant paste, it makes it a two-step reaction, which is indicated here by this, these two humps here. Also, as we said before, adding a cal catalyst lowers the activation energy. But although it lowers the activa activation energy, the delta H remains the same for both equations. There are two different types of catalysts involved in acid base. One being a specific catalyst, which takes place in a solvent. The reaction rate is proportional to the concentration of the solvent. The acid catalyst itself only contributes to the rate acceleration by shifting the chemical equilibrium. The second type of catalyst is a general catalyst. All species are capable of donating protons, contributing to the reaction rate acceleration. The strongest acids are more effective. <laughs> Reactions in which a plus, H plus are transferred are rate determining. Our next type of catalyst are enzymes. Enzymes are biological catalysts. They create new intermediate reactions. Cat er, enzymes pull a molecules to lower the activation. An example would be how the blood and liver in mammals contain cat enzymes, catalase, which catalyze the decomposition of H2O2, which yields H2O and O2, which is catalyzed at the active site. Substrates undergo reactions. Let's take a look at how an enzyme works. Here we are looking at the lock and key model. Here, this is an enzyme, and this would be the reactant. When, when the reactant combines with the enzyme, this is called a 
enzyme, substrate, complex. And here you can see that the enzyme and the reactant are interlocked. Then after the enzyme breaks them down, we have here the enzyme and then these would be the products. Our next type of catalyst is heterogeneous catalyst. It exists in a different phase from the reactive molecules. Usually a solid in contact with either a gaseous molecule or with reactants in a liquid solution. They're often composed of metals or metal oxides. The initial step is usually adsorption. Absorption occurs because the atoms or ions are at the surface are at the surface are you extremely reactive when we talk about absorption absorption refers to the binding of molecules at the surface whereas absorption refers to the uptake of molecules into the interior of another substance so make sure you don't get adsorption and absorption confused here we have an example of what a heterogeneous catalyst would look like. Here, as you can see, with this black solid line would be how the reaction would go without a catalyst. And this would be very slow. But in adding a catalyst, it lowers the activation energy. And then the first step, the first step would be the absorption, which refers to the binding of molecules to the surface. And then after that, it it lowers down the activation energy even more until it creates the same product it, it would in either step, with the catalyst or without the catalyst. And that would be the desorption. Even though they, this one has a catalyst and this one wouldn't, the delta H would remain the same. Okay, let's take a look at the next type of surface catalyst, which would be a homogeneous catalyst. A homogeneous catalyst is a catalyst that is present in the same phase as the reacting molecules. A homogeneous catalyst usually lowers the overall activation energy for a reaction by providing a completely different mechanism for the reaction. Here we have an example of a homogeneous catalyst. Here you can see how the, the barrier with the black line would be the reaction without a catalyst. And this would be very slow too. And it still gets to the same place it would without a catalyst, but it would just be very slow. But here, in adding a catalyst, here we have an example of what the catalyst would look like, it lowers the activation energy, and here is what a, the catalyst with the reactant with R1 would be, which is there. And then it lowers the activation energy even more until it's binded to the this. And then we have the final product here without the catalyst. The catalyst does not show up in the end of the reaction, as you can see. And pause the video and attempt these problems on your own. So here, for the first one, sub substances that lower activation energy are catalysts. 
um, a homogeneous catalyst are present in the same phase as the reactant molecules. Enzymes are biological catalysts. And heterogeneous catalysts are present in different phases as the reacting molecules. An acid base catalyst uh, gain or lose protons.